Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Retro Gaming with Hopper. Today we're going to start getting the electronics cleaned up on this. On this 1972 Bally Space Time. If you haven't been watching the series, uh, the first, first episode I went over everything. Went over the machine and all that. Uh, showing you... Uh, just some things that are missing and stuff that had to be ordered before we could even plug it in. We want to make sure everything is in good condition before we plug it in and we, f we don't want to fry anything. Uh, the second episode was uh, me cleaning the cabinet and putting a new bottom on the cabinet, which is right here. Right now it's kind of going to serve as a work table for my schematics because I know we're going to be needing them once I get into this. But first we're, we're going to get all these switches cleaned up, all the contacts cleaned up, the, uh, the ball counting unit and the flash motor unit and we'll get all the contacts and that cleaned on the on the score motor unit. Uh, the first thing I did notice was uh, the knocker was missing so we know that that's the knocker and then there was this which I thought was the knocker but after looking at the wires they have the one they have 110 wired to this coil no wonder it's burnt talk about looking like a fire going to happen so we got to figure that out um, What we need to do is figure out what these wires are for, the green, white, and brown. And we did, I did, I looked them up. And on the schematic. Now see our, our plug wire comes in, goes all the way across the bottom of the board here. Uh, one goes to the transformer right down right down in there there it is you can, can see it this guy right right here that one goes to the transformer now the other side is supposed to go to this brown which is of course to the brown but then it runs up and goes through this harness to that solenoid and then turn and then on the other side is green and while well, the brown and white oop, here brown and white are on one side and greens on the other well greens a uh, ground now if you look over here on the schematic there we go see we have our line coming in our one line goes to the transformer this is our transformer here the other side is right here it starts our line coming in and it's a uh, brown which is the brown wire and then it goes to a toggle switch and then the, on the other side of the toggle switch is white comes down goes to the fuse and then to the transformer then we get our power for our, for a pinball machine on the other on the top side so here we don't have a toggle switch in ours but the brown comes down connects to the white the white goes back up hooks to the fuse and then orange on the other side and then to the transformer so I don't know what the hell somebody was trying to do but we'll definitely have to get that squared away we'll do that after after I start getting this all cleaned up, then we'll do some more. We'll do some work on this before we even put it into the machine. There's no sense in dropping it in the machine and then having to lean over. While we got the guts out on the table, let's work on the guts. So let's start getting this cleaned up, and we'll go from there.
let's get her cleaned up and then we'll do some work on it. Okay, <clears throat> sorry I cut that last segment a little short, shorter than I wanted to, but my battery was just about dead in the other one I had forgotten to forgotten to take it in and charge it while I was in the house for a while, so I had to run in and get the secondary, my backup camera. But uh, I thought I'd show you a little bit as to how much, you know, this is just tedious work if for anybody that's never done any of these, and, you know, hasn't cleaned any of these pinball machines. It's just very tedious work. It's a matter of just filing and cleaning every contact on the base. Every place you see where there's contacts, you have to clean those. <clears throat> Same with your uh, step units. Those have to be cleaned really good so they work properly. This one I, I did uh, a few of the contacts, a few of the sets of contacts, and I figured you might want to see how tedious it really is where you just take your file and get it in between the in between the contacts and just continuously moving from one set to the other cleaning them some of these I'm pulling a lot of white stuff which is a corrosion off of them. You can see. I don't know if you can see. Let me get it to focus. Come on. There, you can see the stuff that's coming off those contacts. All you do is you stick your file between them. I close them. And just file them up. Clean them up. And if you're going to be... This is a good way too that you can check every one of your contacts. See it, whether they're they should be opening. When the selenite solenoid pulls in or if they open. And it's a good good time to to adjust them a little bit if they need adjusted. And if you're going to, uh, if you have to leave for a bit, just leave your file right where you left off. Just leave it right in there and then when you come back, you know exactly where you left off and you can just continue to go forward on cleaning the rest of them. This is why a lot of people don't like working on EMs. because there's just so much involved in getting them cleaned so they work properly. And most of the time, when you're having problems with an EM, nine chances out of ten, it's going to be dirty contact somewhere or misadjusted contacts. Now, so far, I haven't found anything out of the ordinary. 
if you're wondering what the what the hissing or the, the noise is that's my my little heater running It's not real cold out here today, so I'm just running my little heater just to throw a little bit of heat on me while I'm standing here working. The other noise you hear is the wind. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it is really windy here today. The wind was blowing so hard I was looking out the garage door and I, I could have swore I seen a house go by with a little little girl looking out the window with pigtails and her dog hanging its head out, yelling, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. It is really windy. We have high wind advisories. Trust me, this can take take three, four hours just to clean up everything. Which is, you know, it's not bad. Just very time consuming. There's, there's a contact there that's not not touching like it should. There's one there. Oh! And then we turn around and lose power again. Voila! It's back. I told you it's really windy. See here, we had had a couple that were weren't touching. One was not touching. The other one was touching all the time. So you know that was causing a problem. But if you inspect them as you go, then you can rule out a lot of it when it comes time. And you do get her plugged in. That one was on the line left left hole. And I have another one coming up. Mm -hmm. Let me let me get you down off the tripod. Sorry, I don't mean to shake you around too much. Now, as soon as it focuses, there you can see this, this contact right here that my finger is on. Come on, focus up. 
There you go. Uh, get my finger out of there. Okay. As you can see, that is not touching. It's not making contact. And from the looks of it, the con contact itself, the switch is out of position. It's not even in that little little groove. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. There. See, this should be over here in that little groove. So we'll get that adjusted, and that may rule out one one thing that we have a problem with. and power I may have to cut this one short I know I'm okay I got one more one more contact set of contacts here to clean Finish up. That's good. So that whole bank is clean and ready to go. Like I said, there was a couple of them in there that were weren't touching when they were supposed to or touching when they're not supposed to so I got them all cleaned up all adjusted they all seem to be working fine now as long as the, sw the switches are good as long as the solenoid's good it should work and always remember to clean your Jones plugs these ones aren't too bad I've seen them where they were just white with corrosion. These ones are just just a little bit tinted, so we'll get that won't be bad to get these cleaned up. Okay, I'll finish up. I'll get these contacts cleaned up and get the rest of this board all cleaned up. I blew off all the dirt and all that. And at least it looks better now. And we'll get her cleaned up and be able to move forward. So let me go ahead and get the rest of that cleaned up. Okay folks, we got her all cleaned up. Got every switch done. Got the, the ball counting unit all cleaned up. All them contacts cleaned. Oh, come on, there we go. And the flash motor unit, same thing, got that all cleaned up. Polished up all the contacts, cleaned all the contacts on every one of these switches. And this big bank here is all done. Got mostly, uh, got them all cleaned up. And when I clean the contacts on the on these stepper units, I put the I put PBR grease on it, which is uh, pinball resource grease it's for electrical contact disc grease. Always use this stuff on them. That way they don't corrode. You always have good contact. So we got this all finished up. And next is we're going to get started on the play field. 
I'm going to clean up all the contacts on the play field. So let's get started doing that. Now we need to get started on cleaning the contacts on the play field. Same process. Every stinking every stinking contact needs to be cleaned. All the relays all these need to be cleaned. Same thing we can go through and check make sure everything's adjusted and looks good. Clean the Jones plug. Clean up the thumper bumper. We'll get that all cleaned up and I forgot to mention that I did get the all these the Jones plugs cleaned up. Got them all nice and shiny. So we shouldn't have any problems with it. I uh, need, still need to put the power cord in. Uh, the power cord I had that I was going to use is too heavy. We don't need anything that, that heavy. So I'll get some and get a different cord to put on it. And I'm going to go ahead and get a switch. That way we can hook up a toggle switch for underneath but yeah let's let's get started now on cleaning up the play field all the contacts on it okay folks we got the got everything cleaned I uh, got the new cord put on it see route it all the way down through there and hooked up got the Terminals on for our toggle switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount this toggle switch underneath and just drill a small hole down through and put that toggle switch in. And the pinball gods blessed us with parts. We asked for one scoring reel and we got three. Uh, we needed base plates for the flippers and we got four assemblies. Uh, two used ones and two new ones. The two new ones are right side only. Uh, but I did actually find two used ones right and left. Uh, this assembly will not work on the right. But I do have one here. We'll see how good it is. I think it's okay until I get some new ones in. Get the new rebuild kit for that one. We can put it in and at least uh, play it. Got our solenoids. Light bulbs. Rubbers. Flipper buttons. Knocker unit. Flippers. And our dummy reels. So we're not going to have to make those. We, got, we found them. So it looks like the gods were good to us. The pinball gods were really good to us and brought us everything we need. Oh, I even got a decal for the door. I uh, put the door, beat the door up, let me, and got it where it fits a heck of a lot better. And it's still, you know, it's all dinged up, but, you know, hey, it, it'll work. Got her all straightened up, all cleaned up. So that works. I went ahead and put the new spring on the plunger. That's all ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we need to set our board back down in and put our play field on, get everything plugged up. And then we can then we can get the head unit back up on it and start working on the back of it, putting in our score reels and our solenoids and get that all done. It's going to turn out nice. we got everything we need now, as long as everything works. Uh, that's why I got three, just in case we have another bad one up in there. Uh, these, i got two coils for... Um, 
four scoring units. I don't know why this one was parked or if it was just not making any money so they put it up and then it sat forever and then it got cannibalized a little bit for other other machines but hey what the hell we'll get her packed together no matter what it is it's going to be up and running again and being able to be enjoyed so let's go ahead and get that get that get him in there We'll get him put in, we'll get that put up on, and maybe we can even start working on some flippers and, and stuff. Uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us yet. So let me get this cleaned up and get that put, we'll get that put down in, and maybe we can, meh, we're still a ways off, but we're getting closer and closer to being able to plug this machine in and and see what happens make see if we have a big fireball or if it's going to behave so i'll be back
now she's starting to look like a pinball machine again instead of just a pile of parts okay we got the back headpiece on now the next task is cleaning all the contacts in here getting all these reels all the scoring units all cleaned up we'll get all the contacts cleaned and then all the scoring reels I'll clean all the reels and then everything be cleaned all of our contacts and switches relays everything will be cleaned on this machine and ready to ready to go this is the 0 through 90 and player up unit we'll get those cleaned up the double zero through 90 is part of the match unit yep we'll get her cleaned up and we're getting close to being able to plug this machine in still got lots of work to do we got a lot of the that's solenoids to put in scoring units or scoring reels dummies everything but Let's get this cleaned up and then we'll go from there. Okay, I thought I'd give you a before and then after I get all them reels cleaned up and I'll get that other one put in. We'll get everything all cleaned up in the face. Get all them reels cleaned up. See what you think. Alright, I figured I got player one all cleaned up and that banker relays over there switch is all cleaned up now I'll show you what I'm doing here these are very simple on the on these valleys is there's a clip right underneath here a spring load you just compress it and pull the scoring reel out and there's your scoring reel Now hopefully you can see this. See there's there's contacts, three sets of contacts here and one set down here. And same as I showed you on the on the base unit. And as you just get in here. Clean up every stinking contact you see. I usually put a little bit of pressure on one of the contacts. Don't get carried away, or you'll be adjusting after you get them after you get it all turned on said it it's time consuming but it's got to be done now you can and see how dirty that reel is. That one is really, really filthy. Now here's one. This is this one's off of player one uh, that I took off and cleaned up. This is what I have to do to every one of them. You can see the difference. That's what. Yeah, we'll get it. There we go. This one look just like that one when I took it off and you can see how it's gonna how they're gonna come out you can get almost all the black stuff there's usually a little bit of black right up in here too that and it, it comes off and while I was working back here our credit union the credit union yeah the credit union there the credit unit has a wire just kind of was just kind of hanging 
hanging there and see that's another thing when you're cleaning is it gives you a chance to check everything check all the wires you know because you're moving stuff around and when you're cleaning you know you're moving wires around and you can actually see if a wires loose or coming off you can you can fix it while you're there or make a note of it so you know to come back and fix that but that'll be for a later video right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up I'll get all my contacts cleaned up and all the scoring I'll, I'll take off all the scoring reels clean them all up and then we can start working on the probably working on the play field once I get this mess all cleaned up I think maybe even then we may go ahead and plug it in and see if we have anything going on uh, I'll get the should do some soldering first before we plug it in so at least if we try and credit it coin it up and start a game you know at least we can get it to do something this with that loose that's not going to not going to even show up credits and we won't even be able to start a game to see if anything's even going to light up for us or smoke or fireball or whatever so that's what's going on uh, we're getting pretty far into this one so I think I'll go ahead and cut it off here I'll get this all cleaned up and then the next video I'll show you everything that uh, I got cleaned up back here and then we'll start on a start tearing down the play field and getting it cleaned up uh, maybe I'll go ahead and solder this back on since I already know it's that's bad and that's gonna kind of hinder us from coining up and then we'll tear down the play field and we will plug it in turn it on see what happens so until the next video thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button if you like what I'm doing hit the like button uh, leave me a comment let me know if uh, if you do it any different or or if you've ever messed with one of these so until next time see ya